Hey people, today is steam cleaning day again. If you saw my grout cleaning video, you know how well steam can do some jobs. Today is a little more challenging. First, we have this mess around the fireplace. That there is from this morning when I cleaned the door, the hinges come off there, and there was some drippage of creosote and what other jism came down. This part here is just plain dirt. That's where the part is that supports the wood stove when it's burning. And then if you can see on the floor itself, that brown spot, that's from running it with the door open with wood that wasn't totally seasoned. And it would, you know, spit juice and make that kind of a mark. And I'll probably splice videos depending on how well things go. The old lady is dying to have me clean up this mess down here. I don't know if you can see that in, in the light conditions, but I think most of this is caused by dog tongues. They love to lick around here where, I don't know, I got stuff on my shoes, maybe salt or whatever, and then an occasional spillage. And Anyway, so that's probably going to, it doesn't come up with a dust mop with a, with a cleaning mop, so um, we'll try it with that. And then somebody asked me on the other video, does steam work on upholstery? And I will give this a shot, but you can see that dirt on there. But I have a hunch, I don't remember if I ever tried it or not, but I have a hunch that it just makes the material wet. And it doesn't really do any significant cleaning. So I forgot to have a towel ready. The green light's on. <laughs> Unbelievable. You are. Really are. So far it looks pretty good. I have to wait till it dries to actually get a better look at it. I'll just do a little bit more. I can smell it. It smells dirty. Some of this white stuff I think is paint from when they painted the ceilings and whatever. I'll give the floor one shot now. And I might have to get Murphy's oil soap after this. A little bit out of range there. that it doesn't seem to be working on. It feels a little better than it did. It doesn't feel sticky or anything but it really doesn't look any cleaner. So I'll work on this section at least finish the stone and then come back and do that jism in the kitchen. Well this is not very impressive. It's not dry yet either but that's the part where the where the so creosote and stuff was that dripped off. That looks like it came clean. The floor part here itself, I even came back with some Murphy's oil soap. And I don't know how much you can see in the in the reflection, but I can still see the dog spot there from the so I do have a a heat resistant big black thing that I can put there, which I probably should use to prevent ash and stuff from hitting the floor. But I didn't do that. 
and here we had a little rug that used to cover a cable in front of the TV and that's kind of skeezy so that'll have to get um, mopped this afternoon. I'll put going to use floor finisher on here later and it should make it a lot better. But in the meantime here comes the jism in the kitchen. I just moved the dishwasher which we haven't used for a while because the last time it was used it leaked had a big puddle over the floor and I'm afraid to bring the tiles up. So here you can very clearly see I can even see it better than the camera seems to see it. You can see that it's extremely dirty, all that black stuff there along the along the border. So, I just refilled the steamer, and she's green, and uh, I don't know, I'm not going to kneel because my foot, my kneeling is not good for my knees, so let's give it a shot. like steam coal. Is it coming off? I think so. Good. The cleaning inspector just showed up to check on things. supposed to be white but I'm afraid maybe it's supposed to be. That might be the color of the ground. This might be dirt here. This is smooth and this is slippery. So this is camera's moving. But that's smooth. I have a hunch this is clean now and it's all supposed to look like that and the black is dirt but <laughs> we're not going to clean all that up so I got to be more careful and not make it too clean. All right, the stone actually looks a little dirtier in real life than it does through the camera, so I might make another attempt at, at cleaning this. I did go over it with a mop, and then I mopped the floor with Murphy's and and this part here where that other rug was. I didn't do anything with steam there, but it's got the backing from the rug that should come up with the um, with the with the floor finisher. Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, this is coming out very well. The associate doesn't want to be seen on camera. I'll walk past her. It's not out of disrespect. It's out of choice. This looks like it's a lot better. Actually, looking at it this way, it looks like the part to the right is a lot cleaner, which I don't really want. That grout there, that white grout, makes me think the whole floor is supposed to have white grout. And there's no way I'm going to chase this whole floor around with steam, so I've got to try not to make it too clean, which is the first. Now that area in there um, worked pretty good on there. And then as we come this way, it's not as dirty here. But still dirty. Now that's the backing of a rug that got stuck. Um, one of those kitchen mats when it got wet, so I should be able to get that up. And then I'll see, I have some steam left, and we'll see how it goes, but in here maybe, see it's too dark to see in there, but, um, well, we'll see how it goes, but otherwise this is pretty much it. Cleaning around the fireplace, not so good. Cleaning doggy slobber, 
pretty good. There we go. The associate is still not satisfied with the removal of the black, so while she continues with that, I thought of another possibility for for steam. It's the goo in the bottom of the refrigerator. Actually, this isn't even gooey. This is very solid. I can remember once saying to the ex how disgusting her mother was for going to Florida and leaving the bottom of the refrigerator like that. So, I don't want to keep this thing open too long, but I got a green light on here. I just refilled this. So I got all that this living room stuff done and the, the, some of the stuff over there. I just got goosed by a by a mop handle, so don't mind any strange noises. So as the smoke clears, we'll get a look at it, but it seems to be doing pretty good. Oh yeah! Oh look at that! My goodness! Mercy, mercy, mercy! That is beautiful! And that stuff was all... And he does it once in a lifetime! Uh, that stuff was all jellied! I do it when I get can get can get herself to help. <laughs> Once in a lifetime, she'll help me. Yeah, that's when I do it. I don't know what these hard things are. I hope they're not mouse turds, but I don't think we have mice in here. I just have to happen to notice you might miss some of what was said if I have to edit it out when the camera slipped on the on the tripod. So I'm not sure you saw everything, and if you didn't, I'm going to cut that part out. But here you see how well that is. That's really really nice. We'll hit this part down here. Actually, we got some jism here too underneath. some of that black stuff where the mop can't go. Shoot that to hell. And here we go. Much better. Alright. Be back later. Okay. The working part of the afternoon is finally over. Unfortunately I couldn't do any of this in real time but it's 10 to 4 now and I started at 10 o'clock I guess with the steamer. So here's the part in front of the fireplace. I can still see the mark on the floor, even though I hit it with four finish once, it'll need some more. The stone is reasonably clean, but not what I'd like it to be, not 100%. So I would say that steam for cleaning up after, after wood sap is, is a fail. And then after that was the black marks in the kitchen. They're much more satisfactory. I'm really kind of satisfied with that. A little bit dark to see it, but um, much better. Unfortunately, I cleaned some of the grout. I didn't realize it was supposed to be white, but apparently it is. So the rest of it is um, rest of it is black. The most impressive part was the jism in the bottom of the refrigerator. This jellied stuff there that, well I can't pull it out now, but anyway, that was in the video I think. So it, it really did a good job on that. It melted it in two seconds and wiped it out with a towel. I remember once before I had to clean something like that and it took forever. It was awesome to try and soften it up and scrape it off. And So steam is definitely a win for cleaning the jism in the refrigerator. It's okay for cleaning doggy slobber on the floor. Um, I touched up the grout that I did in the video four years ago. Um, 
it, it just needed a quick hit. I mean, it really gets doesn't get <laughs> dirt ground and dirt like it used to. So this is pretty good. And I guess that's all I did. I did paint up the bottom of the fireplace and stuff like that, which is what took so long today to finish up. It's nicely painted black. And of course I can't use the paint in the house while well, herself is home. So somewhere along the way that has to be sprayed. And the idiots who put this in here, that's how they leveled it off, by putting a washer under there. So I'm going to spray that washer and make it black as everything else. And that's pretty much it, I believe. So, hope you found it helpful. If anybody tries anything else with steam, let me know. I didn't try the upholstery because I really think I know what's going to happen. So if you try anything else, come back and leave it in the comments. Meanwhile, click like if this was helpful. And, and I'll go back to making some dinner. Oh yeah, goulash or baked ziti or baked macaroni or whatever the hell it's going to turn out to be. Tired dog. The big black one laid out in the sun today. Didn't you? Yeah, good boys. Cock-a-doodle-doo.